for Entertainment City. Okay, my video of the day today is not a dancing dog or a talented toddler, but something you haven't seen before. We're giving you an exclusive glimpse into a 105-year-old ship whose roots are right here in Canada. The SS Kiwatin is older than the Titanic. Her name means Blizzard of the North in the Cree language, and in a few days she'll be back home in Georgian Bay after being docked in Michigan for nearly five decades. The luxury Edwardian style liner is exactly as it was in 1905 when it was built for the Canadian Pacific Railroad. Hand painted glass panels along the corridor and cabins were there. A barber shop on board also, so passengers could look dainty through the as they head to dinner in the dining salon. Now I'm going to give you a full tour of the SS Kiwatin and tell you why it's going to be getting a facelift. That's coming up on City News at six. And that's it for this edition of City News at 5:30. News anytime on City News. Show. She's older than the Titanic and sailed the Great Lakes for almost 60 years before docking in Michigan, forgotten, it seems, in the muddy waters. Or so they thought. Now the 350-foot SS Kiwatin luxury steamer is finally making the trip home. Tom Hayes now with an exclusive glimpse of the Edwardian-era beauty. It is a storied past, but today the story is about the long trip home. Now this is the ship's bell off the 105-year-old vessel, polished and ready to come to its home port. She's called the SS Kiwatin, and she's currently being towed from Northern Lake, Michigan, to where her life began in Georgian Bay. This whole wall is all hand carved. Um, a representative of all the different cultures of Canada. Eric Conroy traveled to Kiwatin back in the day as a waiter. Today, it's a trip back in time. If you take a look around inside the Kiwatin, it looks familiar, sort of a scene that we've all seen before. That's because its design is similar to its sister ship, maybe the most famous ship of all time. This ship is very much reminiscent of the Titanic. In fact, she's five years older than the Titanic. Uh, she, she was known as a, a sister or? Older sister. The relationship is striking. The grand staircase, the hand-painted Italian glass, the same deck chairs, the luxury dining room. These chairs are bolted to the ground, right? I wonder why. <laughs> All practiced here before installed on Titanic. I mean, look, it's a time capsule. And when we get this back and we put the tablecloths off and we set them up for dinner. Eric is in charge of getting the ship home. Port McNichol is the development. The restored SS Kiwatin will be the centerpiece, a floating museum of a different time. Uh, it used to be called the ladies' smoking room. W what do you mean by ladies' smoking room? It was called the ladies' smoking room because ladies could come here and smoke. In 1907, it was not proper for a lady to smoke in public. You just fit. <laughs> just perfect. Paul Cowley is a former passenger checking out his former bunk. It was a very big trip to take and, uh, and a very exciting one. The Kiwatin sailed the Great Lakes from 1920 until 1966. Eventually, planes, trains, and automobiles knocked her out of service. But she will soon be back on display for a whole new generation to discover and an older generation to relive. The luxury and uh, linen tablecloths and silver and so forth were, uh, were just fabulous. It was the era of the Edwardian ships. Thousands were built. Today, just two remain. One on the bottom of the ocean off the coast of Newfoundland, the other on its way home to Georgian Bay, where it will be pieced back together, including maybe the most important piece. That bell will ring to officially welcome home the Kiwatin this Saturday as she's pulled into Port McNichol. That's where the restoration begins. They hope to have it open to the public by Canada Day next summer. In Mackinac, Michigan, Tom Hayes, City News.